Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, where I'm hoping nobody's going to build anybody into these tiles here. I kind of have a habit of doing that. One runs down, goes underneath, starts to work on this while their head is right there. Yeah, yeah, that was an almost right there. <laughs> no, you're going to do it? You, no, 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 no. Really? You're really going to do it. But that's too expensive to re to tear down and rebuild. Ah, okay, I'm going to have to move you manually to right there. You hop out of there. Let's get that built. No, 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 no. Ah, we made it. We made it. But now you guys can't get out of here. <laughs> and you're holding your breath. This isn't going to be good. Um. Well, I guess we'll just see what happens, huh? There, we're, we're digging a path out. A little panicking going on here. Gotta dig that path out. Crawl out of there. Get up there. Oh, get in there. Such is life, and ox is and oxygen not included. Okay, well, I ran the game forward a little bit after last episode. Got these guys in, but we've still got a lot of connecting to do before we get to use the system. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I dug out here, forgetting the weight pushes sideways too, and it was only sand there, so it blew out the side. So what I did was I took the the pump blueprint out of here and set it over here instead. And we'll just use this water up first, and then we'll build another one over there and delete that one. So I think that's the plan. Anyway, we've got a dupe that popped in while I was doing that. We've got to deal with that. Got some... These are new plants. I bet you they're not set to harvest nine. Now, if you don't do this, if you don't harvest them immediately, they will eventually just kind of get brown, and then the, the meal lice will just fall off on their own. So they'll eventually kind of self-harvest if you have the time to, to wait for it. We do have 20,000 kilocals, so we could do that if we wanted to. Otherwise, making more lice loaf. Good stuff. Let's take care of this. And, all right there, choose a duplicate. All right, what do we have? We have a six learning and six digging. Hmm, six learning is, is really nice. Though we can get up to a sixth learning pretty quickly on this character, who has construction, strength, and digging. You know, I kind of like that plan better. Negative 25 I like a lot. Enjoys grisly food. <laughs> Though it gets quite destructive when stressed out. Go over there and just start bashing into something and, and destroying equipment. But at a negative 25, it's almost never going to happen. Uncultured, so art expectations are very low but cannot do the job of art. And Narcoleptic will fall asleep anytime, any place. I think this one's a winner. I think we'll train up that learning while there's still some research to do. Let's do that. And this one we're going to name, where are my notes? There they are. This one gets to be Cathra. She left a comment last time that she'd like to be in the game and, and uh, she comments with every episode anyway so always lots of interaction with Gathra so that is perfect so that's a yes click the picture whoopee and print and we have a Gathra <laughs> who's happy <laughs> that makes this Gathra's bed did that not work there we go and Gathra's mess table so the only one who doesn't have a mess table is Murphy, who's got a massage table instead. Otherwise, we're doing well there. Let's take a look at jobs. Turn all this off. And I want nobody doing any battling right now. We're not going to be taking down hatches at the moment. Probably no cooking for you. And no art, because you can't. Otherwise, everything else is viable to start learning how to do them. Except that we're going to, let's see here, jobs, research. So we've got a five, a five, a seven, a six, and a one. So let's pull off handy. And Tomislav, we'll let Catherine do all the research for a while. And that'll give me more hands on deck for doing other things. Okay, I like that. 
We'll get Cathra uh, skilled up there. Let's... We just got a skill up over here. Murphy just got a cooking one up to four. So Murphy is going to be a cook for us. Research. Are we? We are not. What is the next importance? We only have one, two, three, four, five left. So I'm hoping by the time this game completes, as far as uh, you know, a final version of Oxygen Not Included, there'll be more research out here. It'd be nice to have more challenge. We go through the research pretty quick and it's all finished. i um, almost tempted to save some of it just to train up dupes with. Could do that. Advanced power. Don't think we're going to get into this for several episodes. We'll be busy doing smaller tasks for a while before we get into a main power system. So when we do, we'll want to go there. This is a good filler. Just get one thing for all that research to get Cathra uh, skilled up. Otherwise, could get into these and that. Let's go down this pathway. All right, we'll do that. This one... Harvest, nine. It's already been done. Okay. All right, so the harvests are going in. There's no food sitting on the ground. I was going to say before nighttime hits, we probably want to get rid of that sand, but it's probably too late. This guy's going to munch down on it. Yeah, we'll see if it's still there by morning. This water we could empty and just let it splash into the area. That'll be fine. A lot of it will run off into here. And the first one that comes down to fill up one of these will suck all that dry anyway. All right. Next. So we've got to work on these. I only kick the priority up on a few of the items just to start seeing the, the building. So let's go ahead and continue that process. We'll take eight just that part for now. All of you, all of you, all the rest of you. Your eights now. Need to finish this, that, get into here, this valve, and power, and plumbing up into there. That will get our food system started again. Alright. Otherwise, we've got this up and running. And it's entombed. Nine dig that out fell out of the ceiling right here and then we should probably sweep this area so that the medical cot is available if it's needed uh, vitals health we're at a hundred percent all the way around so it's not something that's actually going to be needed for well won't need it until you really need it then you wish you had it huh so this is our new laboratory when we get it functioning Kind of like the uh, the knotted up uh, rag there trying to plug a leak. Yeah, and the new shower. All the extra spare parts that eventually made the water get up to there. Kind of fun. Otherwise, I'll pull the chain. It pulls the lever and pumps the water in. Cool. Plenty of lice loaf being made. We've got carbon dioxide over here. We've got some oxygen hovering at the top. If we were to get this guy into here instead, he would clear up the air before it ever comes in. We're at 3,100 algae. That's really low. When it comes down to it. Let's do that. Let's take him out. Deconstruct. Put a new one over here. There it is. And let's do that rather quick. Pop that in there. Pause. Do we want it here instead? Or do we want it right at the door? Let's go further away. Let's do that. Council build. You... Oh, we have more stuff down here. Uh, nine. You're going here. Okay. And electrolyzer. This will... You ever done the experiment in school in science where you put two electrodes into a uh, into a glass of water up inside some test tubes and one will fill up with hydrogen one will fill up with oxygen that's kind of what this does it uh, it'll give you hydrogen it'll give you oxygen so 
you've got to be ready to handle all the hydrogen that's going to start floating around in your base and they're not going to like it. So we can't use that one just yet. You need to use it in, in a more enclosed space. Um, air scrubber pulls the carbon dioxide out of the room. And also, I'm trying to remember how that works. Seems like you've got to have an input, a liquid intake pipe and a liquid output pipe. It creates polluted water. It takes clean water and, uh, and uh, runs through it and it comes out with polluted water and no carbon dioxide. So it pulls out the carbon dioxide. It doesn't, it doesn't put oxygen back in to take its place though. So you're going to get a negative atmospheric pressure out of that. So there's that to deal with as well. Which means you're going to need more of things like this or I guess the, uh, the electrolyzer will also add and we're adding 888 oxygen and 112 uh, so basically we're adding a thousand gas we're not taking any gas out of the system so that will add pressure back in so the combination of the two should be fine um, we're in here waiting for plants I don't want to use plants until I have got water running to it. I want these seeds to work well. And when we get this going, we'll build a duplicate system out somewhere else. Maybe out here-ish. And we'll do that for the meal wood. This is going to be for the... Ooh, can we harvest that really fast? Come on, hop in there while it's still alive. Come on. Ah, not that one. I can't tell you to do anything now. All I can do, all, all I can tell them to do is move, or do my best to rework their job so that that's all that they can do is that particular category. But I really can't tell them to do something like you can in RimWorld. Otherwise, everyone's got a bedroom. You set for nine. Let's get Tomislav up there to uh, to paint it. So that is our doctor's bed. We can assign somebody to it. So whoever's injured, tell them they'll hop in there and suddenly they're, they're, they've got a cast on and they're going, oh, and they're so dramatic. <laughs> we got some polluted oxygen in here. Where did that come from? I was going to say it's just our high point because it rises, but there's none up in this area. I was looking for it over here, thinking we had a bunch of polluted oxygen in this area, but we really don't. Uh, it's turning into compost so quick, and I don't know that we're getting the advantage of the compost. Let's... Well, I did say put some in here, and they are. The fertilizer is going in there, and it is a 9. Okay, it is. I was worried that the the uh, hatch from this area right there, though sometimes he's over here sleeping has been eating all of our, our fertilizer, but apparently not. But they have been fertilizing it enough to where it never really, you know, if we were to set that for a nine, well, it's, it's an eight, so that's pretty high priority, then they'll get that taken care of before it really does anything. But there's a little bit right there. There, it kind of moves around. If I were to pause the game, it would stay in one place. So it kind of drifts through and around. Apparently, it's drifting this direction and landing up here. Interesting. It won't stay there for long once we get further up. It'll eventually rise even further. Or we put in one of these guys if we had a large pocket of it. And this would take care of it for us. I hate to put that in anywhere because it's just going to clean a little bit out and be done. Hmm. Well, we'll get into more of that when we get into this area. Now, what to be doing right now? This is cleaning up this area. Let's look at the oxygen levels here. So we're still pretty... Well, it's intense in here, but we had carbon dioxide making it very difficult to use the uh, the supercomputer before. So we have done a pretty good job of cleaning out this area. We still are a bit rough right here for whoever is running the microbe musher. But that should continue dropping. I was noticing while they were sleeping last time 
they would make a little p and it would turn red then it would fall through and it would just settle down there and, and it kept it clear why is there so much oxygen here still I'm doing that entirely out of this one tell you what let's disable him as well we are getting uncomfortably low right there and that hatch may be consuming some of our stuff there is still time there barely is sweep nine let's get rid of that one that one you sweep nine you sweep nine any others okay that all came out of right here so you sweep nine That's the only way that I know of to surgically remove just the parts you want. Ah, you're a seed. Sweep nine, that one. No seeds are going to get destroyed on my watch. Alright, you... I can't hit dig from here. Okay, dig nine, you and you. Let's clear those out. Where'd that come from? Oh, wow, this floor probably. Okay. So priorities, we want to get this up and running. I really thought it'd be done by now. So I guess the sweeping's done. Is there any of the sweeping to worry about? You are coal. Okay. I don't think so. So they've got all that done. Let's, before the day ends, priority nine, a little more of this plumbing system. Let's see if we can get a few more pieces done before it's time to time to call it a day. Plumbing is where? The water. So if they get that power up and running, there's the last of the pipes. They're not going to. It's already uh, end of the day. Okay. Let me see if we can switch over and watch it fill up the pipes, at least to that point, once it gets power. But... Doesn't look like it's going to get power in time. Okay, so the power is for tomorrow. And power is something we've got to think about. Um, how do I do that? Here. We need to find a way to split this into two systems. We are... Once we get this going, we'll be at about 1,200 watts on a 1,000 watt system. So we're going to need to split something up. Get some batteries over here for this area. Put, maybe break it right here. These computers... Hmm, and this electrolyzer on a system over here. Okay. Well, um, what is the best way to do that? We could put a squirrel cage here and tap that into there. We could... That's 120. This makes 400. 60-60, so there's... 240 right there which is what we're putting in right here we could separate these guys off to this side leaving him on this side that seems possible though I guess we could just not worry about it right now we'll leave you as a five because this is off and this is off and these are does it say without clicking it does not still does not let's go back to here you are a 120 so there's 240 that aren't going to be running for a while. This one rarely runs. And that one was also... That's another 240 right there. Okay, so there's 480 right there that's kind of dormant right now. Which means this should run just fine. Right there. So it's just got power. It's going to start pumping water up. Each of these waters are... Liquid pipe. Five kilograms of water. Really? So each of these is 5,000. The shower needed plumbing. Needed one kilogram or 1,000 grams. So we really need to take these down to one kilogram uh, globules, we'll say. Let's take it down to a little less, like that eh, 850 to 900 range. Okay. Now, I don't know if they need to walk over and do something, or if that is now officially done. Let's find out. Water. There you are. So, we're coming in at 5 kg of water at 45 degrees. 
Let's see what comes out of here. Out of here is 900 grams of water. So we're going to eventually stack up in here as each of these ones supposedly, or each of these fives go in and ones pop out. So we need five ones to come out for each one five that comes in. I wonder if we're going to see that or if that is one of the bugs that's still in the game. Like we're losing 4,000 now for each one of these is what it looks like to me. It does look that way. Contents 10 kilograms of water. Oh, okay, we're backing up. Let's look at this again. These are tens. These are all tens. Okay, let's go a little longer. Still waiting for this to stop pumping, but it's not going to. Hmm. So it's going in, filling up these guys until they're full. Which should happen soon. We should see these just stop moving. Except he's now <laughs> using the shower. This never did stop moving. Oh, because it's going to... Well, it should take just five of these. Interesting. So it doesn't look like we're going to save any water because this is not truly doing its job. Yes, it is breaking it down to smaller units. But this isn't stopping waiting for for 10 of these smaller units to come out while one is going in. So we're still losing water. That's a shame. Let's try something else. If we were to take you all the way up and then back down. Something like that. Does anything change? 10's going in. Thousands going out. Hmm. We're starting to stack here. We're eventually going to stack here. Okay. As these fill up to hit 10 kilograms. 10 kilogram stacks in each one. That's kind of what we're looking at there. Now we're going to start stacking up. I guess it really doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't. Let's just take you to the top. So, I'm guessing that is not functioning properly in the game yet. That's too bad. But we are just about there. Let's... Ooh, we can't get into these. That's what's wrong. Okay, so let's dig nine, this group, and let's ladder this right there. Two in the middle, that'd be enough. I don't know if they can go out two. Tell you what, it doesn't take that much. Let's give them all the options. They're going to be able to hang on this while they're working up in this area. And that should be fine. Okay, so with that, we could basically fill these up. And these are going to be... We've only got... Well, we only have two officially free. So let's do that. Let's uproot this one and this one. Though I hate to do that one. He's ready to harvest, but it's uh, it's not going to happen. We just can't get the cooler temperature in here soon enough to make it worth it. So we're going to pull those guys out and let's just take this guy and copy settings to there. Temperature, 22 degrees. We probably are no longer refrigerated for here. Well, it says we are. Temperature in here is 40 degrees, though. It's iffy. We're doing a lot of moving in and out and moving the hot air through. So food is probably going to have to move out into this area soon. I think so. Let's go ahead and just plan for that to happen. Mesh tile... Um, give it an 8, and let's move out into here. And let's put in food, 8, out of sandstone, sure. You're going to go there, you're going to go there. 
This might be a problem. Let's dig that out. Hmm. Don't know if polluted water dripping on the food container causes any issues. I don't know. I guess we'll wait and find out. Make this one an eight or nine, and we'll make this one an eight when it's done. And they'll fill this one first. We're going to have enough warm air coming in. Eventually, that's all going to drip out. And maybe it won't be an issue. In that case, we'll get rid of this. And maybe end up putting an algae terrarium in here to kind of clean this up. We'll see. Um, let's put a priority nine on this so we can get this going. Come on, guys. Invalid. Yeah, that's fine. Lacking resources. Microbe musher. Yep, yeah, that's fine, too. All right, so that gave us 31,000 kilocals. We're doing okay on food now. Okay enough to where you guys are working on this. We'll get one of these functioning. Otherwise, let's get in the build a bedroom going. Um, this guy. Well, no. This whole mess is going to dump in and just fill this area up. Let's do this instead. Priority 8 this ladder all the way into there nine right here to get this wall built then we'll come in and, and turn this on okay so these are probably sevens right yeah and that's built let's go ahead and connect them uh let's see here power yep yeah, got another dupe uh power electric wire ah okay best route into here really depends on where our future grids are going to be until we get the high voltage or high wattage system in later. Just travel up the, uh, the ladder. Probably the only viable route right now. Okay. Now what did that say? Uh, potential power consume 1.2 kilowatts. Yep. Get back there there. Try to draw a straight line. You're going there. And eventually you're going there. Though right now let's prioritize as a as a as an 8. Yeah. Go ahead and do that to there to there. Now did I mess up something here? I may have. Let's 7 this run right here again. Okay, that's done, that's done. And looks like while we're here, we could put in another tile made of sandstone and another storage compactor. We've cleared that space out. All right, so we've got plants in. They're awaiting irrigation because we still don't have this in. What am I missing here? They can't get there. They cannot jump up to to get to that ladder. That's what's wrong. Okay, then let's uh, priority nine this right there to there. And I guess we're going to dig nine out this one to get to there. All right, that will get that solved finally when we get this going. Dupe. What have we got? All righty. And do we want one more this quickly? We could. We could. We do have a pretty good handle on our food right now. Hmm. Just looking back and forth on these. This has the most potential, but Tomislav has already got that face, and I kind of like to have only one of each. We could overcome the negative three learning for the benefit of all these other ones, though we have a 15 here, and that's a no. Okay. This one, to do some research, would gain here. We're going to get construction, we're going to get creativity, which we don't need anymore, and tinkering. I think we'll wait for an, another round. It's a better choice. Okay, so that's done. Give us a chance to build a bedroom. So we're building the ladder right now, which is going to get us into a big, big patch of good breathable gas. Interesting. And that water's going to run down. This needs to not just be a well, I can't do that either. Gas permeable will not let the, that water run through into this, but 
I probably don't want anything to run into this. Where did you come from? Sweep nine. Don't you dare eat my sand. Give me sand. There you are. Nine sweep. Alright. Get that cleaned up. Get that cleaned up. And... Boy, getting him out of here is going to be tough. Hey, eat my sand. Does it say? He pooped out of coal. <laughs> yeah, getting him out of here because I don't think he'll fall down ladders. I may have to punch out a hole. I probably will. Yeah. Let's deconstruct that one and dig this one. He will lodge down in here. That should take care of him. Then we'll rebuild this one and we'll eventually let him loose down in this area. Okay, I think that's the answer there. And that's the end of the day. Okay, so that sand is toast. Darn. Alright, so what else did we get, get done or not get done? We dug into this quite a ways. We have no hatches on this floor. Good. So this stuff's not in danger. Um, gas overlay. It's probably time to get some more pressure into here. Turn you on for tomorrow. Enable. And let's just look at things here. So carbon dioxide is working its way on down. Making it here. We should see it dropping through these vents and heading down into these squares here. This one. No. They're all heading for the ladders this time. Interesting. Which way are you going to go? Not coming through because we... I don't know why because... Interesting. A little bathroom trip in the middle of the night. They hate that. You can interrupt and sleep out of that. Alright. You. I didn't see you. So dig nine. Clear you out. Otherwise, this is the main goal. We've got to get this moving. Then we can get up to irrigation and should give us a pretty high percentage on our yield. Temperature here is still fine. Let's go ahead and plant the fifth one. So here, copy settings, go there. And did we have one? That symbol means no seed available. Okay. Then we can take out this guy. Let's dig him up. Right there. And we have one over here too. If we need it. But with that, these are all going to come out as soon as we do this kind of a system out over here for these plants. And then food should be pretty well established for the, uh, the remainder of the series, I'm thinking. We're going to... time we get much higher percentage of food out of each seed than we had been getting, then we should see food you know, go up five-fold at least, if not more. All right, yeah, it takes a long time to, to tunnel through this stuff. It's rough. I don't think we can get to here without having that space cleared. They can go diagonal one. I don't think they can go diagonal two. There we go. So, priority, it is. So let's get her done. All right, which one are you going to do? You're not. Who's going to do the pipe? And yeah, let's take a peek at that. That's the block. No, you're still tunneling. You're still digging. Okay, now we can do the pipe. Boom. Gotcha. Now we can flow. So now it is working. Now we have a functioning bathroom, functioning shower. Going to dive in there. Let's see... Dr. Tomislav, using shower, uh, should see, well, he's only a stress of one, so it is a stress relief as well, because you're going to start seeing grimy and dirty hands all go away. Low oxygen, that did get turned on, okay, and almost done here, lots of, of, uh, wastewater coming out, we're stacked full on the on the uh, clean water, so it's just waiting its turn now. Otherwise, we're watering the plants. Going through... Coming out what? Coming out at 
1,000 grams of polluted water. Okay. Do we have any sense now what these needs? What these need? <sighs> I'm not getting a sense of water quantity to be considered irrigated. Excellent. 80 points. Gives you 1,600 kilocals, whereas 40... Ah, gives you 40 points, gives you 1,600 kilocals and a blossom seed, final harvest only. And 80 points gives you, or 80%, I don't know what our points are right now, gives you two seeds per. Otherwise, zero just gives you the berry. All right, so where are we now officially? I'm trying to find it. Not there. So what is our, here, this must be it. Water, they need 20 kilograms per cycle per harvest, I'm assuming that means, and 4,000, 4 kilograms of fertilizer per. Gas pressure is at 750, temperature is in what? It says temperature of 26 to 37. Or 35? But we're, you know, we were supposed to be like negative 12. Hmm. 15 plus on the decor. So, what is my rating? I could click the plant itself. That must be it. Harvest rating 2.3 out of 100. Predicted yield 49. So, predicted that we're going to get a seed out of this. I see. Turn that back on. And that may change as more liquid makes its way in there. Okay. You're still set at the full run. 10 kilograms, but we're not pumping that much through the system. We're coming in at 1, kilo, yeah, one kilogram. 10 or 1,000 grams. Coming through at a time. Okay. Well, we'll take a peek at this as we get further along to see if that's changed. We're in the... It was a grade of 49. Let's see how that goes. Otherwise, that system's in. What is next? Do we split power? Do we have any power problems right now? We don't. We're not running enough things to need it. Let's do get, before we shut this episode down, prioritize nine and get this connection made. And that way, this will be done. Let's sweep nine. That seed. I got hit just right. Well, just keep clicking. That works. Nine, sweep that one. Otherwise, we're fine there. Gonna get the power in here. Wanna get this one set? I can set it now. Okay. Set you to 25 ish and 15. Boy, it's hard to hit when there's little numbers. Okay. You're done there. You're gonna be a nine. And as soon as that symbol goes away, you can be deconstructed. And we can give, uh, who is this? Murphy, his mess table. Which, never really, oh, we're done. Can you go and, uh, you, maybe you can't. Maybe you don't tunnel into algae. That's possible. I was hoping to get you to dive into here, then we can seal that back up. Um, you're just not going to do it, are you? Hmm. Frustrating. Okay, you can be deconstructed, and then let's get furniture, mess table. Um, let's do a nine. Let's get that done before this episode ends. That's going to be there. Then I'd say let's do a bit of a cleanup in here. Could be another one right there. Huh. He is, he is eating things. Maybe when this gets further along, it'll affect what he'll do and he'll drop out or something. You need to go away before you're eaten. Briar seed, which would be the... Well, we don't have one waiting yet. Another pot. Okay. Right there. Murphy, you got it. Your own, uh, your own dinner table now. So, you... Nine. Just kind of 
finding all the little things I need to clean up before this is done. You are now deconstructed. And we should see everything moving over into here, which is going to warm this area up a lot because we're really going to run through this. This is pretty clear now. It's oxygen. So no more carbon dioxide getting blown through from this room. We've pretty much cleaned it out in this area. Good. Carbon dioxide will settle down low, so once we clean a little more of this area out, I can probably just turn this off. And what's down here will stay down here. We're down... We're still at 3,500 because we've been collecting a few here and there. Otherwise, we're moving all the food over. We did move all the food over. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up in between episodes and fine-tuning some things here and there. Thinking about what system we're going to dive into next time. Got this going. Got to see it operating. And we got to see the effect. Though, I'm a little concerned that... It's not operating enough. What's happening here? Have they hit some kind of a max? All right, let's look through this again. The plant itself? The plant itself. Okay. Mm, awaiting irrigation. What am I missing? What am I missing? It's stacked here, not wanting to go in. Huh. You are 10 kilograms. Okay, let's look at the this itself. So, still red. 20 kilograms per cycle. Don't know what to make of that. Let's, though, set this for a 9, just in case... Anything like that needs the fertilizer before it can take the water or some other thing like that. Otherwise, yeah, I'll stare at this while the uh, in-between episodes see if I can figure out what's going on. It may need a restart of the game to make these function. That's possible. Okay, let's call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll work out some bugs here or there and catch you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.